What's the motherfucking deal? Who we got calling in to the den this evening? Oh, you have Professor Trio, huh, Chef? All right. What you got? Okay, first <laughs> and foremost, I would like to extend an apology to Mr. D-Love. Okay. I mistakenly thought that that was you that called earlier, so obviously that wasn't you since you're saying that this is your first call. Mm -hmm. So I apologize, my brother, for mistaking you for somebody else. Mm -hmm. But what I said still stands when he was talking about the stereotypes and shit about, you know, not all black men be getting fat white chicks. That, that shit ain't true. Because mm. I don't know not one brother that's got a white girlfriend that she's a fucking star. I don't know a single one. Just, just to be honest with you, I'm mm. just saying. Mm. Okay. Hell no, I'm not apologizing to you. Only, yeah, I done figured out how I can read the goddamn chat while I'm talking about that. <laughs> I ain't apologizing to your ass. If you lied once in your life, you are a liar. Mm. God damn it. Every motherfucker on this planet has lied. So we all liars. Mm. Everybody lie all the time. So y'all trying to deny it. You lying to your damn self. So it just further cements you into more lying. And then to get mad at somebody else for calling you out because you know you did the shit, that makes you even more of a fucking liar, Miss Meat. Mm. God damn. You gonna try to say that I'm like, yeah, I lie too, goddamn. You damn right I do. We all lie. Shit. So I try to keep my lying to a minimum. But I at the most I don't wanna lie to my damn self. That's what's crazy. <laughs> okay. Okay. And there's a difference between and there's a big difference between the truth and my truth. So uh, Miss Bell tried to pull them shenanigans. That shit don't work either. You still lying. It's just your version of the truth. God damn. Because the real truth is normally somewhere in between your truth and their truth. So fuck out of here. Y'all can miss me with that shit. And y'all be telling half truths. It's the same mm. thing as a lie. Because mm. half is the truth, the other half is a lie. Truth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that uh, interracial lie, goddamn. <laughs> but yeah, we all full of shit. Mm -hmm. We know it. Stop acting like you don't know, man. Mm -hmm. That's all a nigga saying. Mm -hmm. And oh, this label shit. Come on now. I, I really don't understand this shit. So I don't. I don't like to be labeled anything. Everything is fucking labeled. What the fuck you mean? If you got a name, that's a label. Mm. That's what it is. Mm. Okay. If it's a title of a book, that's a label. If it's a fucking uh, something written on the package before you buy it, it's labeled. So you know what the fuck it is. So yes, you love labels. You live with them every day, all day. So now you trying to make yourself an exception? Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. That's just some nonsense. That labeling shit is nonsense. That's all it is. So if you don't believe in labels, you don't believe in definitions either. Which we know that that's not true either. It don't make any sense. And I would love to see you try to justify that foolishness. Come on now. <laughs> oh, they will. You already know that it's, it's a, <clears throat> somebody gonna justify. <laughs> I'm the exception to the rule. <laughs> All right, then only. Okay. All right. You one of them, so I'm, I'm gonna let you do your own thing. You can live in your own little world, squirrel. Do your thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. And this is yeah. So you were saying something too about the, that. There's chicks out there who prefer the the dad bod. What about it? So who 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 are these chicks? Would you? I'm, I'm gonna be honest. You know what? I agree. And you know what I think? I think most of them are Mexican. Mexican women <laughs> like chunky niggas. Period. And and I had a Mexican yeah. chick tell me that because to them that's like a sign of of uh, basically doing well. Prosperity. I mean, yeah, prosperity that you eating. Prosperity. Good. Yeah. 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 Especially you know uh, females from a lot of foreign countries because if you're able to. Before, God damn it, Rashida, that's my motherfucking pistachios. If you wasn't a mod, I'd beat your ass over the head with this wrench. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, because shit, they ain't got a lot of money over there. So, I get it. I understand. 
because there's some women that like their men a little fluffy. However you want to call it. A fat, goddammit, if you want to be all the way honest. Fat, goddamn. Mm. See, right there, ladies, that's true. Chubby takers. What the fuck? That shit don't even sound man. <laughs> Chubby mm. Come on, dog. God damn. If that man got money and power, y'all don't even see that bullshit. Mm -hmm. Straight like that. Mm -hmm. Y'all look right past that shit. As long as that the, if the wallet stick out further than the gut, dude, y'all ain't tripping on nothing. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, oh! You want to know the difference, D Love? Okay, oh, that, that's that's pretty fucking simple. You could tell when somebody's being loud and belligerent than somebody that's loud and educated. That's the difference. Ratchet just means that she just bitching just to be bitching. She don't really have no substance to the argument. But if you sitting up here and you outspoken, that means you have substance to the argument. It's the difference between an argument and a debate. That's the difference. Damn it, Let me see how many of these, these uh, pistachios I need to steal from Sweetberry. <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I, I could agree with that, Heidi. I could agree with that. Nobody likes a loud blab moth. I could agree with that. What if there's not arguing, though? What? What? What the fuck does that mean? Mm. That's not what ratchet means, sir. What you mean? So you mean to tell me that there's not a difference between ghetto and just mad? There's a fucking difference. There's, I mean, you can argue and not be ghetto. And, and, and get exactly. Get across. But then See, again, it's like they don't, like, they're pretending like they don't understand what I'm saying when it's clear what the fuck I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, you can... You could definitely get your One is attorney. educated, the other one isn't. Yeah. One is trying to make a point, the other one is just arguing for the sake of arguing. There's a fucking difference. Mm -hmm. Just like there's a difference between hoes and bitches. There's a difference. One is more tolerated than the other. Mm -hmm. God damn it, three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get off my stack shows, nigga. No, oh, yeah, hold on. I got a uh, matter of fact, I'm thinking about it. Let me make sure I, I pay up for these calls. You know, y'all don't still start calling me uh, biased and, and, and shit. I don't know what you're saying. What? <laughs> Educated as far as what? Okay. So th you mean to tell me that there's not a difference between arguing for the sake of arguing or arguing to make a point? There's a difference. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, you're just trying to be the opposite of the person than trying to explain a point or a purpose. There is a difference. Ghetto is environment, hood is location, emotion is attitude. Okay, I can see that. But there's a, there's also an emotion that comes from being in that environment, Mr. Uh, Tarver Jr. I think ghetto is the one, yeah. you, you gotta look at it like this, because like you said, both people can be loud. But ghetto is the one who uses loud as their first reaction. Their first, their their only go to That's is true. getting loud or, or, or overly uh, aggressive, if you will. The educated person will try to approach the situation from different levels. I mean, they'll start off trying to have that calm conversation with you. If you continue to push a particular issue or whatever, then it may uh, elevate a little bit. And then when it's just when you didn't push all the wrong buttons, and then they'll go, I think, to that level. But yeah, I, think, I was trying to answer that question, Heidi, but you answered it yourself. People just like the job, and I do. Now, I've proven my point to where I can be loud and belligerent, a ghetto, a ratchet, whatever you want to, and then I've tried to just present my argument calmly, and the reaction was exactly the fucking same. It mm -hmm. was exactly the same. So it really doesn't matter. Y'all can say it's the way I say shit, but the reaction was the same. So it don't really matter the way I said it. It's the fact that you don't like what you're hearing. Mm. <laughs> That's my point. So I've tried to be cordial with you guys, and it didn't work. Well, you can't, you can't be cordial when the den. It just don't work. People can't be nice in the den. 
y'all um uh, yeah, yeah, I was just violent and and and, and aggressive and hateful <laughs> and, and lie and tell half lies. I ain't gonna call them half truths, they half lies. You know what I'm saying? Shit, the other the other half gotta be something shit, and so it's a lie. So y'all uh y'all all out there. Yeah, and I wrote it in the chat. So you basically saying by her logic, it was basically saying if I refuse to say that something happened, that means that it didn't happen. That's that's not true. Go on by her logic, Miss Meek's logic, that, that would be true and it's not. I plead the fifth. You can plead the fifth all you want to. It's still dope. It's, the truth is still out there. It's still not telling me what needs to be told. And I want to explain something about this body count shit. Mm -hmm. There's just, just it's the, the difference, okay? Especially coming from a guy. If a dude asks you your body count, that don't mean that he's insecure. That means that he wants to fucking know. Now, he wants to know how you should be perceived or how to look at you. Because everybody makes a snap judgment, especially when you're giving the facts about something or someone. So if you got a real high body count, a real high body count, that means that you was just going through either some kind of phase where you was just fucking a bunch of niggas. Now, we, here, here's, the, here's the understanding, ladies. We understand that even if your body count is low, that don't mean that you didn't fuck the same niggas the same amount of time. But it's the fact that you got emotionally invested or physically invested in that many men that easily. And that's not supposed to come that easy. So that's what I'm saying. By going by your body count and when you supposedly started fucking, we could do an average of how many different niggas that you went home with or you took home. And to see if that's satisfactory to what I feel like a woman I want to be in relationship. Is that acceptable to me? So... And you not wanting to tell the truth, look, that's your prerogative. It is your prerogative. You want to tell him that's not his business, fine, cool. But if we going to get sexually intimate, I don't see why that's not his business. Because it's more risky if you done been with more dudes. That's just a fact. So I need to know what the threat assessment is, goddamn. This is true. Ah, oh, come on, Miss Meat. I mean, it depends on what kind of dudes you fucking with, whether they believe you or not. But if your ass is always saying, <laughs> if we know you a liar, and you won't even admit to the fact that you a liar, of course I'm not going to believe shit that you say. Of course not. So you just setting yourself up for failure. Come on, now. That's called considering the source and D love, my brother. Not nine volt battery, man. Please do something about that fucking smoke alarm, <laughs> smoke detector, whatever you want to call it. Please do something with that jump. Mm. Mm. That first round pick is, is 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 tempting. It is very tempting. First round. First no, no. round, people. No, no, me and me and Heidi are we're we're participating in a racial draft. She's offered up Lady Licious in a first round pick for Miss Ashley. Uh, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can make that trade for Miss Ashley. Yes. And a first round pick, man. You better take that trade. Mm. I fuck with Lady Licious. She cool. Mm. I'm gonna have to see, but see, that's that's that show you what a, that show you what a German do. A German will trade their own. You know what I'm saying? Look at that, dude. They, that's supposed to be a that's supposed to be a German connection. That's tough, right there, man. Mm. That's, that's cold blooded. Mm. That's wild. That's that's. Just come on, man. I'm not saying nothing new and something that y'all don't know. I don't know why y'all really try to just fight me on this shit. I really don't, cause it's futile. And the more that she tried to argue, the more it just didn't make sense. It just started unraveling her point and proving my point even further. Come on, people. God damn. Just keep it a buck. The world would be such a better place if everybody was honest. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it would. It would. It would be a lot better. Uh, a much more enjoyable world. And I think, I, I think if people were, were honest, we would not have 
eighty-three percent of the problems that we have on this planet today. The people That's were just absolutely honest. true. Oh no, I, I agree with you, D Love. I understand what you're saying. And a lot of that though is just about the perception, especially if she's a black black female. And she get loud, motherfuckers just gonna automatically think that she's an angry black woman. That's just the truth. I mean, it is fucked up, but I mean, she, it to me, it really depends on what she's saying and how she's saying it. You know, because cause passion and anger can be confused really easily. If people were honest, the world would explode. Yeah, it, it would be a lot of people couldn't take it. It'd be a bunch of mad suicides. So I, I think it'd be better off. Get out, rid of all the weak motherfuckers. You can't take truth. Just go on, kill yourself and get the fuck on. Let the survivors move on with the rest of the world. We'll be all right. Man, I think if uh, if people were honest, <clears throat> we wouldn't have to worry about that population control problem. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it, would be, it would not be an issue. Uh, it would be a lot less people getting action one way or the other. Uh, so there's that. <clears throat> Yeah, see, I hey, get... I don't give a fuck about that, Heidi. Y'all can see my real process. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Yeah, straight up. I ain't got shit to hide. I keep it a buck. My shit is going to be all all amateur action. Y'all go check the history. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just real. Like, like, come on now. I mean, it ain't really lying about that shit. Not that type of shit. But a woman, oh no, I have I have never masturbated. No, Miss Meat, I am not married. Never been married. I have never masturbated. I'm a good girl. None. She's hoeing on the side. Like, come on, man. Fuck out of here. But niggas be lying too. I got this kind of car. I got this amount of money, girl. I can show you the world. That nigga work at the gas station, man. Like, come on. Mm. Come on. Everybody be lying. Everybody. And yes, Miss Meek, niggas be lying too. But it is the funny part, though. Y'all ladies make us fucking lie. Right. Y'all make us lie. Yeah. Y'all make us go through all this old shit knowing what we want from you in the first place. Mm. But you make us entertain all this bullshit and you fucking know it. And you go along with it like you believe this shit. It's, it's so fucking insane to me. Because if a nigga was just a hundred, like, you know what? i like to tap that ass. Right now, if at all uh, possible. Nigga never get no play. Man. Did, did you ever see that you video know, from old man. buddy? Yes. That but man, it's you so lovely, you know, I just like to take you out. Mm -hmm. What's your name? I gotta go through all this talking shit. You knew I wanted to fuck as soon as you saw me see. Mm -hmm. You knew. So why are you acting like you don't? I just I don't get it. No, that's not a lie, Miss Me. That's a fucking truth. Straight up. That is a truth. That is the fucking truth. All y'all know what niggas want. Y'all know. And then y'all be saying, oh, we just got to find out if he just wants to screw me. Like, of course he does. What you mean? You got to figure it out. You already know that. Mm. Even the nigga that married you still want to fuck you. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's common sense. But no, y'all want to act like y'all uh, obl oblivious to the fact. No, you not. You know the truth. You just don't want to acknowledge it. And I don't understand why that is. Why y'all not willing to admit that truth to yourself? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So, ladies, I would like to know <clears throat> if a man, and, and I understand that it depends on the man, definitely changes the dynamic. So let's be real about that. But if a man like came up to you. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, <laughs> that's honest right there. Only that is the most honest thing that's been in the chat the whole time. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get out so you can call in. Alright, that's a bit. Alright. Alright. 